I'm a huge SpongeBob fan. I don't know if that's surprising at all, but like, if somebody says something even loosely related to a SpongeBob episode, I'll kind of like, you know, make a joke about it. Like just today in like special teams meeting, coach was like, he's number one. And you know, it's kind of goofy, but there was a SpongeBob episode where SpongeBob was like, he was number one. And I kind of said it all day. I played the saxophone. I, I can still play and mess around a little bit, but I played it all the way up until uh, 10th grade in high school. My dad liked the saxophone, and because like he liked jazz and saxophone music like that, I thought jazz was kind of smooth, and I always wanted to like play and do things like that. So I picked the saxophone when I got to middle school and was in the band. I didn't know where and I didn't know like what level, but I knew I could go to college and play. So, you know, my parents threw their support behind me. We went to all type of camps and stuff, and I ended up at Vandy. When I switched to running back, and was playing well on special teams, I thought I might have a chance. I didn't know if I was gonna be a drafted guy or anything like that, but I thought I might have a chance at, you know, making it to the league. Play fake, Tannehill looking deep, throws downfield on a wheel route, it's caught! Making the grab is Blazin Game. It's a gain of 24, Blazin Game's first career catch. The fight in the team, so, the first game, you know, with the Jags, we threw some punches, they threw some punches back, but we always kept fighting. So just seeing that guys on this team don't quit, and they all go hard, and they have a high standard of uh, competitiveness, I think that's pretty big, and I think that's cool to be a part of.